Hello everybody, Michael here, and welcome to my Guild Wars Prophecies Hard Mode Remaster number 23, Ring of Fire. In this mission run, I usually use my, my Triple Rip, my Healer Olivia, and my two AoE Elementalists. They don't really require any other skills besides just heavy AoE spamming. Eventually, when we fight on the Mursat Towers, you will have to lock skill 1 and skill 8 on both of them. I'll get to more detail about that later. My last hero is Koss. Instead of stance removal, I equipped him to be an adrenaline spammer. This would be very effective when facing inside the Mursat Towers because they don't allow any energy, but they do allow uh, adrenaline. Uh, with my standard hero, I should be ready. Okay, as soon as you start this mission, you'll notice an NPC running straight into the uh, heat of battle, sacrificing himself and pulling them away from us. After he gets a certain distance um, and the foes are away from us, we basically just walk this general path right here. The one thing to worry about is that the Rit Hero might spam uh, traces of rituals. Again, the first target should always, should always be the Elementalist. You want to take your time definitely in this mission. Make sure you never get ganked in the back. If you do, make sure they're all destroyed before moving forward. Okay, with that out of the way, proceed with the Mursat Elementalist again. Notice they have physical resistance on. The drawback is that they suffer a higher uh, ele elementalist damage penalty. Okay. Once you have successfully reached to this certain point, normally you would supposed to attack this tower, but since we all have intellectual brains, we can avoid. Okay. Wait for uh, this mob here to pass. Just move. Flag um, to make your heroes to not engage. Okay. Believe it or not, that has actually saved. Um, five to seven minutes because you're fighting in an enemy tower that not only drains you but also Mursat um, defenders. Sometimes you get uh, a mob pop-up like nightmares here. They're not that big of a deal or a threat just make sure you don't attract any more attention. Uh, later you'll encounter Eaton's from the back. Uh, that usually happens after we talk to the seer which is uh, the NPC responsible for the bonus. The bonus is nothing more than destroying all the Mursat towers in the center of the base, uh, which will spawn Eden. Ed uh, Edelon or something. Basically a squid-like boss um, that, that allows you to infuse your armor piece once you uh, slay him. It's not hard killing him, but we want to do it the fast way, so we're approaching the fort head on. Uh, that will probably be in this video in about 5 minutes if uh, I get lucky with the spawn. Okay. The Eaton's just uh, past this group. Normally I would bring Gorn, uh, especially with two heavy AoE damagers like this, but. Um, I can't really knock them down. Well, I guess I can, but it wouldn't be. Uh, I don't know. I guess I didn't bring him. 
but Koss does more damage in this form than Korra does, definitely. In uh, one versus one fighting. Uh, one quick note, I'd like to have my elementalist to have as high HP as possible. This is probably a uh, opposite belief of, to most of you. Instead, you probably want higher energy if, uh, if possible. Talk to the seer here, and then back away. If you engage, just clear out the mob. Uh, I think they're invisible to the seer. This is one of the two bosses that you see in this area here. One's a ranger, as so, and the other one is a warrior boss. I was missing my skill here. <laughs> you won't have to worry about this guy. He won't come back. Oh, uh, this should be an eat. There we go. Regardless if you came this way or not, this patrol will always circle. So be sure to kill him if you have a lone runner that's coming back with the bonus. I would flag my heroes here. No sense in getting everybody burned and crippled when one person can just pull. Yeah, the Eatons are immune to burning, so they'll be in their, uh, their advantage field. Okay, once you're ready, clear past uh, the lava pool. This is probably the uh, one of the hardest uh, spots in this mission. Sometimes you're lucky the Eatons will actually engage as so right now, speak of the devil. What you do is that you immediately um, get ready and launch... Oh, they all died. That was fast. Uh, launch a meteor shower spam. Lock skill 1 skill 8. After sk the skill 4 has been used, Launch skill 2. It should do enough damage. If not, use uh, skill 5. Finish it off. This is the key to killing any tower. Concentrate your firepower with all your spells. Yes, it'll, it'll probably cost you a lot of energy and you'll have to reload and spam you know, before you can spam again. But you have to kill the tower very quickly. The tower can regenerate and they automatically sap energy from uh, from your allies as well as HP due to their continuous uh, damage. I'm making near one defense. Uh, you do have to clear your way here. You have to kill everything because. Um, if you have somebody coming back, he's gonna run into this Mursat Ranger and he's gonna die. Ugh. There we go. Okay. I hope that wasn't uh, too challenging for you guys when you're doing this mission. Like I said, this is one of the hardest spots. If you can get past that spot, you should be able to handle um, this upcoming fort area very easily. Summon a couple of spirits. I don't mind. Press that button. Pull them away from the spirits so they bunch up easily, and then just back away because most of my team is cast are casters.
especially fighting against these mesmers. You definitely do not want your two elementalists to be uh, blacked out, um, interrupted, energy drained. Definitely do not want that. Right, summon another, uh, this time more spirits. That gear is back. Thus, the rituals attacking engage. It's strange. Sometimes the fo the monsters fight, and sometimes they don't fight. Well, they did my job for me. That's good. Uh, let's assemble another full grit team. Definitely, when you engage in this tower aura here, you definitely want to lock um, skill 1 and skill 8. Because the elementalists will think that their enchantment was not stripped, but instead um, the enchantment was over. And they'll want to cast it over when they should have instead attacked with uh, spells. Every second is very crucial because it drains 2 energy per second, which is very uh, annoying. What are you doing? I don't have any special runes for him. He's all uh, survivor and Vietie, uh, the one that gives him uh, HP. Okay. So he just used his uh, signet. Some um, you can. You can use Glyph of Lesser Energy or the one from Eye of the North that speeds up uh, reload time. Glyph of Quickness, I, I believe. Those are two good choices as well. Wait for me to see. Okay. Meteor Shower. Then your Elite. Then uh, Firestorm. One tower. We need to get this one next for a couple of seconds. Okay, that was very uh, successful. I forgot to mention to lock these two skills as well. They take way too much energy and their casting time is not worth it. Okay, you don't have to, uh, you can unlock skill 1 and 8 now. This time your Ritz spammers can uh, join in with the fun. Once you break these two seals, definitely move back. There's a patrol that comes around here once you 
uh, get past this door. Be very well, be very well aware of that. You have to pull if you can. I'm about to do is very dangerous. I'm going to use myself as bait. Make sure you cast the two uh, defensive, well, the three defensive writs here, and then encase yourself with vital weapon. I'm going to pretend I'm going to attack the ether seal. It should cause this mob to move forward. Okay, this time they're not moving. Just going around a circle. Okay. The first target I would suggest you attack. Is there we go. There's the mob. Get ready to pull. Always pick up this mob that's patrolling. You do not want to get ganked, especially when you're in the tower fight. This was designed by one of the programmers. I doubt it's a coincidence that you start attacking and approach it from this way that the, that the random group comes and attacks you soon. Like I said, this mission takes a couple of takes a bit of patience. Bowman doesn't seem to know what he's doing over there. Okay, make sure skill one, uh, six, and eight are locked for both elementalists. Charge up and then immediately attack. Attack the seal. You will be obstructed from most of the fight because the seal is on the other side. That's why I brought Koss in. You should be able to finish off the damage. Notice that there's two towers here, which will be double draining you. Make sure you do the job quick. Once you kill the tower, try to run to this spot right here. You should be able, you should be safe. Wait until uh, your energy is uh, has gone back. Who's damaging him, Agony? Let me see if I can pull the ranger. Yeah, I can damage him instead, that's awesome. Make sure you have 1 and 8 locked. Uh, not because of the whole chance stripping thing, but so they don't use their energy. Okay. This should be enough. Once you break this last seal here, um, the boss will spawn. So get ready for that. Uh, Days was a very nice addition to this, uh, to this, sorry, to this mission run because you can strip the tower for a couple of uh, spells. I forgot I had a disenchantment right here. It's awesome. In case he doesn't okay, that was a fail. A 
Okay. Once he's dead, uh, he'll drop a spectral essence. If there are any um, friends or allies on your team that needs to be infused as human players, uh, you should accompany with the with the spectral essence delivery, so you can uh, infuse your armor as well. This is one of the two mission runs that can infuse your armor. Black cost back quickly. Okay, you should be uh, free to use your abilities now. Relax, don't chase the bow. He'll come back on the magnet. I'm just clearing the way for now, so I don't so my heroes don't get ganked. Make sure you flip the lever here just by uh, clicking on it. This will open the door. If you do not open the lever, you won't be able to proceed any further to, uh, to the mission. Uh, as you can see on my timer here, this mission can be easily beaten within uh, 25 minutes. If you, as long as you have two uh, heavy AoE nukers. The lead is very uh, is the key to, the, to my build, basically. Able to uh, continuously increase his damage over time. All right, I'm gonna flag my heroes up here. They might engage, but I doubt. I don't doubt that they won't be able. I'm pretty sure they can handle an, uh, any Rasat that comes their way. Probably engaging right now, and they are. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward here.
Okay, once you kill this last boss, that should be it. That should be it. Within 30 minutes. For mission and bonus without any speed boost. Um, if you're playing this mission with a bunch of friends and no one wants to play Elementalist or Rit or whatever on the set, you definitely just have to have two Elementalist and two healer types. Then that should be it. And we find ourselves at Abaddon's Mouth. Second to last mission of this campaign of prophecies. I'll see you guys next time at this mission and then we'll be finally done after we finish Hell's Precipice. See you guys next time.